Hello, my name is Ruby, and I'm going to explain the movie called, Into the Dark Down, so let's get started. A girl named Jennifer is seen at the beginning of this story, who gets trapped in an elevator with a stranger, and no one is going to come here for the next three days to take them out. Now slowly all the secrets of these two starts coming out. Here Jennifer is seen working to late night in her office. And right now there's no one else in Jennifer's office except her. Jennifer is up late into the night because the office will be closed for the next three days. Because Valentine's week has started soon. That's why tonight Jennifer has to catch a flight so that she can reach her boyfriend. And it's Friday night and this office will be closed on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And the office will open again from Tuesday and Jennifer is also very excited to meet her boyfriend. So she sends an email to her boyfriend. That she is going to leave soon. Now Jennifer gets her work done quickly. She keeps some candies in her purse and leaves from there. Then on the other side we see another man. This man also leaves his office. Then we see Jennifer who has reached inside elevator. That man also goes in this lift. The man tries to talk to Jennifer. Jennifer listens to him and she also responds him a little. But after seeing Jennifer, it seems that Jennifer is not interested in him at all. Then this man sees something in the wall of the lift. He says Jennifer to look at it. As soon as Jennifer looks, the lift stops. And they don't understand what happened here. They press all the buttons on the lift. And try their best to open this lift. But all their efforts go in vain. In the meantime, they repeatedly point to the camera for help. But they don't get any answer from there too. Because there is no one other than them in this whole building. Their problems increase when they come to know that their phones are out of network. And now with the passage of time their troubles keep on increasing even more. After 15 minutes these people start shouting at the door. But they don't get any answer from outside. Now Jennifer is getting even more worried. Because she feels that she will miss her flight soon. After hearing this, this man tries to help Jennifer. And says that now we just have only one way out that is to go over the lift. So Jennifer just climbs on the man's shoulder. And tries to break the ceiling of the lift. So that she can go up. But all Jennifer's efforts go in vain. Now Jennifer comes to know that one hour has passed, so she has missed her flight. Jennifer is starting to get very frustrated. And after seeing Jennifer destroyed, this man starts cracking some funny jokes to lift Jennifer's mood. Meanwhile, Jennifer gets thirsty and the man gives water from his bottle to her. And now he says that if you want, we can even open a bottle of champion. Jennifer laughs at this. Now Jennifer drinks water from this man's bottle. Time passes and now it's been four hours since they are in elevator. Jennifer lights up that she feels like peeing but there is no place to pee. That's why Jennifer has held on for too long. And Jennifer also says that she never pees in front of stranger. That man says that there is nothing to be ashamed of. No Jennifer starts peeing in the corner and meanwhile she tells the men to close their eyes. And along with that his ears also and that man does the same. Now slowly an understanding rise between them. And these two begins to tell each other about themselves. Jennifer says she was going to New York to meet someone. But now everything has gone bad. This man tells that he was not going to do much this weekend either. And here this man tells his name as well. His name is John. And started getting very comfortable with each other. So John opens his bottle of champion and they drink it together. To pass the time, they starts drawing each other's drawings. And John tells Jennifer that he has seen Jennifer in the office before. But he was not telling it as she should feel bad. But Jennifer smiles after listening to him. Now Jennifer shows her drawings to John, but Jennifer's drawings are very funny. And John feels like a little insult. Then he shows his drawing and Jennifer sees that John did a great job with her drawing, and takes a picture of John's drawing. And she says that if she stays alive then she will make wallpaper. Now these two are very hungry. And both want to talk about something to pass their time. Now they choose many topics one after the other. But he doesn't like any subject. And then Jennifer says let's talk about our sex life. Jennifer takes out her phone and asks John to tell about his weirdest experience. She asks if he got intimate with someone in some strange place. But John starts feeling shy after hearing this. And he didn't share anything. Then Jennifer hands over the phone to John. And she starts telling about her experience. And she says that she once got intimate with a boy in the library. And that was the weirdest moment of her life. After telling her experience, Jennifer once again asks John to tell about his experience. But John starts blushing again. And says that he has no such experience. Now Jennifer says that you can make up any story. Now John starts making up a story and says that once he was going in a car. 
Then there was a hot girl in his car. And suddenly she starts taking off her clothes. And tries to get intimate with John. After hearing this, John starts moving towards Jennifer. And now these two starts kissing. And in time, they become physically close to each other. John tells Jennifer that he thinks he is in love with Jennifer. And after hearing this, Jennifer feels a bit strange. And she says that whatever happened between us just happened, there were no feelings in her. But there is already someone else in Jennifer's life. But John says that he loves Jennifer. And the one whom Jennifer wants doesn't even deserve Jennifer. Jennifer gets furious after hearing this. And she says that whatever was between us was till here. You and I will part ways as soon as we step out of this elevator. Me and you may never meet again. Now John starts crying after listening, and says that I told you every single lie in my bear. And I also lied to you about where I work. Rather I used to see you every day. Now John pulls out his phone and Jennifer sees her pictures. And says that I have today's video also when you entered this lift. And now John tells in his bear that he works as a security guard in the building. And he keeps seeing Jennifer every day. But no one sees a security guard, so Jennifer doesn't remember anything. After that John says that I had planned everything. Now he takes out the lift key from his pocket. And says that if I want, I can open the lift now. And he puts the key in the lift. And Jennifer gets very angry knowing all these things. And she says that I will send you to the police. And after hearing, John gets angry. There is a hand-to-hand -hand fight between them. Meanwhile, Jennifer's foot gets on the same key and the lift key breaks inside the lift itself. And the light starts blinking. And a fight starts between these two. And in this fight, Jennifer also hits John's hand and John faints. Jennifer gets scared she thinks John is dead, so she goes to John. Then John slams Jennifer's head down and Jennifer faints as well. After a while, when Jennifer get conscious, she sees that John is already conscious. So she asks John why did you do this, then John says that I wanted to date you. But if I ask you like this, you refuse, I just had this way. Now Jennifer says that you cannot keep me locked up like this. Someone or the other will definitely come in this company and he will open this lift. He snatches the gift pack from Jennifer's hand, Jennifer was carrying all these gifts for her boyfriend. And John wears that shirt came out of gift. Now he tells Jennifer to open all the other gifts. And as soon as Jennifer opens the box, John finds a cigar inside that box and John starts smoking this cigar. And says forgive, and asks for one more chance. Now they will try to get out of here together. John quickly breaks the ceiling of the elevator. And asks Jennifer to help him go up, but Jennifer convinced him that she will go up and bring the help soon. Now John agrees and sends Jennifer upstairs. John cheers as Jennifer goes upstairs. But Jennifer shows him middle finger and says you will die here. John gets very angry and tells Jennifer that if I catch you, I will kill you. And now John starts chasing Jennifer. But Jennifer reached at the door and she starts screaming for help near the door. Then he pulls her down holding her foot and both falls back in the lift and faints. Now after a while Jennifer regains consciousness and sees the alarm. Now Jennifer starts burning some papers so that it activates the alarm. Then John wakes up and he says that the alarmists will not come her. And now she begins to kill John. He would burn it with a cigar lighter. If he didn't confess everything. John agrees to confess everything. Jennifer takes out her phone and asks him to confess everything in it. John says he trapped Jennifer here. And Jennifer record all this in the phone. And she asks John why did you do this? Then John says that he wanted to go on a date with Jennifer. He also confessed that he was not a security guard. He used to work in a big company and he was an accountant there. And it was very good and less. Now the story of that girl he told before and says that there was a girl in the car with me. And we were getting intimate in the car itself when the car met with an accident and that girl died. And I was put in jail for six months. When I came out of jail, no one was ready to give me a job, so I had to work as a security guard. Jennifer says why did you choose me? He says because I like you. Time has passed by and Monday came then we see another security guard from this company. The one who has secretly come here with his girlfriend. And he starts to fog up for John here. But now that John is not there, he starts watching the security camera and finds out that he is stuck in lift. So he tells in the mic that he is coming to save them. And Jennifer tells the guard to come quickly as she needs help. Now he starts opening the lift door with the help of a rod. And Jennifer tells him that he need to open the whole door. And Jennifer is still talking to the guard when John grabs Jennifer. And closes her mouth. He says to guard that he will have to come inside. And as soon as that guard has entered inside, 
John kills him. Now he comes out with Jennifer and puts her in the trunk of the car. Now he goes to the washroom where he cleans his body. Now he goes to the front desk and deletes the camera footage. Then he sees guard girlfriend coming. And John kills her too. And leaves from here. Now after coming a short distance John finds a dustbin. Where he starts pouring oil. He opens the car trunk and he finds Jennifer unconscious, but Jennifer was conscious. And she was acting. As soon as he goes towards the garbage, Jennifer stands up. And attacks on John and reverse the car and hit him so hard that he falls inside the garbage. Now she lets the cigar and throw it over John and John gets burned alive here. With this, this story ends here. Hope you like this story.